Good evening, my people. Good afternoon and good morning, depending on where you are. Here is Victory Voice TV. Thank you very much for coming back to this channel. Thank you for loving this voice. Now we are here again. Please join us. Subscribe if you have not subscribed. Turn on your notification bell immediately, please. Now the news is this. It is quite breaking, okay? Cross River State Governorship candidate Abo Oye and two others have been kidnapped in less than 24 hours before the governorship election. You see what we are saying? They just kidnapped a governorship candidate. Imagine, somebody that is supposed to be secured. You don't know if he will win or not. Why are you afraid? Why are you kidnapping him? Why are you making him or denying him of his franchise right to be voted for? At least he has been moving up and down, you know, before now. Why this time? This forgery and thuggery should stop. And I know it, is not, it will never get better. It is not a cause. No, it's not. Just that they have gone beyond repair. They have gone beyond repentance. Nigerian politics is the dirtiest politics in the whole world. Dirtiest politics. Shameless politics. That's what they are doing. They behave like mad people when it comes to grabbing power. When they have the power, they don't know what to do with it. It will be intoxicating them. They will use it to kill. They will use it to owe salaries. Why are they kidnapping governorship candidates? Few hours to the election. So that he will not be voted for. Is that not? You see, that is why we say, if they can kidnap governorship candidates, is it you? Is it you and myself that they cannot kidnap? And if they kidnap you or me, that you want to come and vote, who will ask for you? Who will ask for me? These are the things we looked at and we said, Nigeria is not supposed to be validated again. It is full any business. It is British business. It is not your business. If it's your business, your school will be running very well. If Nigeria happened to be your business or my business, they will not seize your cash. If it is your business, you will have good roads and you have good hospital, good facilities everywhere. So why are we validating that which does not benefit us? These things are common sense questions we should ask ourselves. Stay put in your house. It is not a do or die affair. The autogree is too much. Agbero everywhere. Even the president Agbero. Why is this? Why this? Why are they kidnapping governorship candidates? It is too bad and uncalled for. All right? I just wish that you share this thing and let people know the horror in coming out in Nigeria for election, for voting. It is horrible. Okay? Thank you, my people. God bless you.